Monocytes are one of the most important white blood cells or immune system cells. They encounter first when pathogen comes. We will discuss what means elevated monocyte levels, what means when monocyte percentage is elevated, we will discuss when absolute monocyte level is elevated or decreased in the blood. First, let's discuss what monocytes do. Monos monocytes circulating in the blood and when pathogens, bacteria or viruses enters into the body, they react. Uh, they migrate and they differentiate into two types of um, monocytes. First type is macrophages. They differentiate as macrophage and second type is dendritic cells. So from monocyte we get two types of cells. One is macrophage, second is dendritic cells. Macrophage uh, engulf microbes and it's to say simple it eats it is called phagocytosis and we see that it eats and digests these uh, mi microbes it can be bacteria or viruses or parasites another dendritic cells function is to present um, pathogen antigen to other immune system which means it captures antigen and it presents this antigen um, pathogen antigen and migrates to lymph nodes. In lymph nodes, when T lymphocytes acknowledge that this dendritic cell is with uh, pathogen antigens, they activate and they starting producing antibodies and they starting uh, producing other cytokines also. Uh, so, dendritic cells induce specific immune reaction and macrophages uh, induce uh, non-specific immune reaction that's two functions of uh, monocytes so monocytes are differentiated to macrophages and dendritic cells now let's talk about uh, what means uh, elevation and what means elevation of monocytes in the blood Elevation can be absolute. Absolute means that um, in the blood, in the white uh, blood cells, um, uh, monocyte levels is elevated. Not compared uh, to other cells, but total number of monocytes are elevated. While in uh, elevation of percentage means monocyte level Total, total number of monocytes can be normal, but percentage uh, towards other white blood cells can be elevated. This is percentage and absolute is when absolute number is increases, increased. Generally, generally uh, among white, white blood cells, monocytes should be around 10%. It's normal, uh, up to 10%. Uh, from 10% it's already elevated and um, uh, let's say what uh, what is absolute uh, and uh, what diseases can cause absolute level elevation and what uh, disease can uh, elevate of percentage of uh, monocytes and uh, discuss also when uh, both are elevated when absolute level of uh, monocytes are elevated it's usually and the most common is bacterial infection it can be also viral infection but it's acute infections uh, it can be endocarditis it can be tuberculosis uh, it can be also uh, viral infections but uh, in case of viral infection more common is when percent of uh, monocytes is elevated in case of parasitic infection, also more common when percent of uh, monocyte is elevated. Uh, chronic, during chronic inflammation and autoimmune disorders uh, such as sarcoidosis, inflammatory bowel syndrome, or just stress also can cause elevation of uh, percentage of monocytes. So, uh, if say simple, more common 
and more serious is absolute elevation of monocytes. But percentage of elevation of monocytes indicates more specific disorder, uh, disorders like parasitic infections, like viral infections, like autoimmune disease, like stress. And now let's touch the case when both of them are uh, elevated. Absolute and percentage also. Uh, these are most most serious conditions, like leukemias, cancer, other type of cancers. It can be other type of solid cancers like colon cancer, breast cancer, lung cancer, both uh, white blood cells uh, and absolute monocyte can be elevated and percentage also can be elevated. And elevation of monocytes also called monocytosis. Uh, also, several important autoimmune disorders, uh, elevation of uh, both absolute and percentage uh, monocytes are common, like lupus, uh, rheumatoid arthritis. And uh, so let's summarize this. Uh, absolute, uh, absolute monocytes are elevated when we have acute infections like bacterial infection, endocarditis, tuberculosis. Uh, percentage is increased uh, during viral infections. Lots of viral infection can cause elevation of uh, percentage of monocytes, including influenza virus, including um, uh, hepatitis virus, including parasitic infections, including chronic inflammation, including autoimmune disorders, including stress. So, uh, and uh, in case of percentage, uh, if uh, percentage is elevated more than 10% is already elevated. But if elevated more than 25%, it's in, it indicates serious condition already. So it, it needs, it always needs uh, important uh, attention if uh, monocyte level is elevated more than 25%. Because from 10% to 25% can be elevated, but these conditions can be stable uh, over years. And uh, sometimes it's too difficult to identify reason what is underlying cause. But if uh, monocyte percentage is more than 25%, it's already very serious. And it already needs uh, to check very carefully. Uh, and uh, we should mention also uh, when both is elevated it always need attention it can be autoimmune disease it can be cancer but uh, not uh, not only monocytes uh, we, we can't diagnose cancer based only mon on monocytes of course there should be other indicators also um, changed and uh, we should observe and if uh, biopsy is needed, we should make biopsy and etc. So uh, only, uh, only monocytes are not enough to diagnose cancer, of course. And uh, let's discuss um, you know, what is case when monocytes are decreased, monocytes levels are decreased. Uh, if uh, th this condition is uh, quite rare, but if there is immune suppression, if there is chemotherapy, radiation therapy, HIV infection, hepatitis, so when immune system is seriously suppressed, we can have reduced monocytes, reduced monocyte levels. And most common cases are, of course, immunosuppression, chemotherapy and radiation therapy. And um, some cases, it can be uh, if uh, HIV is untreated and hepatitis, of course. That's all. Thank you for your interest. If you like my videos, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.